sinners and sinners. In Luke chapter 15, it talks about Jesus having a meal with the tax collectors and the sinners again. The Pharisees and scribes complained about Jesus inviting the tax collector Levi and eating with him. They didn't like the fact that Jesus was still meeting them and teaching them. So Jesus told three stories to the people who complained about him. The first is the story of a shepherd looking for a lost sheep. The shepherd who was keeping sheep in the field counted the sheep to go back. But then he realized that he was missing one sheep. So he left the other sheep on the field and went to look for that one lost sheep. He looked everywhere that the sheep might go. Then he finally found the lost sheep. He was so happy that he gathered his friends and neighbors and said, Celebrate with me. I have found the sheep that I had lost. The second story is about a woman who lost a coin. A woman made a decoration with ten precious coins. But she lost one coin. The decoration looked strange because of the lost coin. So the women swept throughout the house in order to find the coin that might be somewhere in the house. She ends up finding the coin in the end. She calls friends and neighbors who might celebrate with her, saying, I found my lost coin. Please celebrate with me. The last story is about a father who lost his son. The father had two sons. For some reason, the second son asked his father to give him his inheritance. Asking a living father to give his inheritance was, was something that was shocking not only to the father, but to the people around them. But the second son didn't care. He changed his father's inheritance in, into money and went to a country far away. And there, he spent away all his money. When he had nothing left, people there began making fun of the second son. They got him to take care of pigs, which is an animal that people of Israel consider to be the dirtiest. They didn't give him any food. The second son thought of his father and returned to him. His father had always been waiting for his son. So when he saw his son coming to him from far away, he ran towards him, hugged him and kissed him. Then he called everyone in the village and threw a big feast, saying, Celebrate with me, I have found my lost son. Jesus repeated himself three times to the Pharisees and the scribes. People who lose something and then find it always invite everyone in the neighborhood to celebrate their happiness. And isn't it only natural that we share food when we have something to celebrate? Do you think the Pharisees and the scribes now see what he means? What about you? Do you now understand Jesus' deep thoughts in eating with the tax collectors and the sinners? Mm -hmm.